Hello, my name is Franz and today I'm going to show you the new editing functionality in Diamant version 13. Let's open first the restoration manager. Here you can see uh, that we have a new track called the editing track. If you don't see this, it's probably because this is uh, the display of this is turned off. So a default timeline doesn't show the editing track. So if you want to do editing, go to display, show source info. And this will bring up back the source track and the editing track. So the idea behind the editing in Diamond is not to create a full-blown editor. The idea is to have the possibility to add an alternative source to your, sequ to, to your project. So meaning if you have two different versions of a film and you would like to decide that the other version would have better images for a certain shot or scene, uh, you can use the Diamond editor to do so. So how does editing in Diamond work? Well, we are using the additional source concept, as you might know from previous Diamond versions. So let's open an alternative source first. So open additional source. You navigate to your source material. And now I have here is B additional source. So when I switch between A and B, um, I have the same images, more or less, but I marked the alternative or the additional one here with a marker. And as you can see, uh, this is a kind of color corrected version or a different illuminated version than my original one. So uh, in order to bring now, instead of my source, my original, the alternative one, I would go to the editing track and say I want to have an additional input here on the timeline. It creates an additional source filter and here in the parameters I can configure what I want to have as additional source. Well, in this case my additional one. I could have several additional sources if I want, so I just need to load them back in the time uh, in the background and I can use it from here. Here I have a parameter which tells me which frame I would see from the additional source. So the default parameter is use the, the frame number from the current timeline. So in this case we go in with the frame number 1583 into the additional source and since both versions are aligned with zero, uh, we get the same image. I could choose another one, start at the beginning. So here would the sequence would start here at zero as my main sequence. Yeah. Or I could go and give it a special offset, whatever I like, um, to edit any other frame as a starting frame. Yeah. But Usually, if you have two versions, this this would be a nice thing. As you can see, the additional source filter is like any other filter. So I can actually trim it to a certain period. I can split it into two ones or do something like this. Yeah. So here I would get additional one, and here. I get the additional one. Note that everything is on A. So this timeline is instantly switching the sources um, according to my edit. Um, so I can do this wherever I like. And that's actually already the basic editing in Diamond.